Hello, welcome to JBeats Producer Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'll be explaining parallel processing. What is parallel processing? When you duplicate a mixer track and you add effects to the duplicate of the mixer track. I have a beat already made out. So I'll be working with only one sample, the snare. I have it here routed to track 12. And on the snare, I have uh, I have fruity scent. And I have another fruity scent. Just for volume control. I have a drum mix here or a drum bus and I have the effects. The effects are return tracks in which we're going to be routing the snare to. We've got the, the reverb and the delay and we have the effects bus. So now what we need to do is first things first, you go to the, the snare, the snare track. You route it to the drum mix and the reverb and the delay effects. Okay, we we'll go to the effects and route it to the effects bus. Okay, now that we've done that, on our effects, I'm going to start with the, the reverb. On the reverb effects, I'm going to add, uh, I already have uh, a reverb, a fruity reverb here. Now, one thing you need to know is that when you send it to an effect, you need to drop the dry signal so that we do not have a, a double sounding snare an increase in volume we need the same level of volume only the effects of the reverb should sound that's why we drop it i'm going to mute this Okay, so now we can hear that this this the the reverb is working on this now. And I'm going to go to my delay bus. I'm going to turn that on. Switch off this. I'm going to do the same thing. Drop the dry the dry knob all the way down to zero. Okay, so now we can hear both effects and this is how you parallel process in FL Studio. If you like this video, 
hit a thumbs up subscribe to be notified and i'll see you in the next one